evening guys not even finished setting up yet and uh first fish on still trying to rig up my second rod and first fish of the day conger eel probably about four or five pound nicely lip hook so i'm going to try and find my uh t-bar and just do it straight at the side of the boat uh, in fact, let me just pop him back in there quickly. You will find just like that. Right, so T bar, fairly simple. Get your uh, line T bar through the gap, and gosh, off he goes. Greedy really sod. Well, decent way to start the, the video. How's everyone doing? It's been a cracking weekend for the weather. Uh, Sunday evening, got the day off tomorrow, so I go to spend the night on the boat. We, uh, yeah, as I said, I was just trying to finish rigging up this one and um, the rod screamed off, so I'll get everything back in finish rigging up this one and then get back on it. Whee! Just got this rod in the water and it's going nuts. Rigged it up with a little bream or full bream. Let's see what we got on here. Whee! Well, literally just got the second rod back in the water. <laughs> Haven't even got the, the conga rod back in yet. Ah, oh, he's off. Damn it. Oh. Spoke too soon. Dicking about with the camera. Got him this time. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Only a little bream. But unlike it, they do go well. Actually, ain't that apparently he's shitting everywhere now? But, well, there you go. Sizable bream, but he'll go back. And on the pink attractor again, that's slid up the line. But that's the one that keeps being hammered. So, pop him back. Chill out. Goes. Evening after that initial bit of madness, a uh, couple of bream, some con uh, that conger eel that you've seen uh, fishing South Sea, about three quarters of a mile off the off the shore, uh, Portsmouth, known as the Blocks. Uh, yeah, just out on our little uh, 19 foot open top boat. Not sure what the hell it is. We think it's an Orkney. Don't know though. But yeah, we'll see. Got uh, young Mick on the board on board. Old sea dog, he knows what's going on. Um, 
yeah, he's had a couple of bream, I've had a couple of bream and that conga. We're gonna fish here for three or four hours and then move off into the harbour. Whoa, hey. I don't know if we caught that, but that just went nuts. We fish on. That's a bream. So uh, let me just get this back in here. Mm. The joys of trying to film and fish at the same time. It's an absolute nightmare. See if that will go again and then uh, flip on to this one. But yeah, so nothing really sort of in mind is just fishing up on the boat uh, overnight. It's now, what is the time now? Nine o'clock, call it that. And uh, yeah, we'll be here for another two, three hours. Like I said, we're anchored up off South Sea. That rod's still going. And um, yeah, then we're gonna head off into Portsmouth Harbour itself and fish for, fish for some bass and things like that. Um, just see what happens. We'll, it's gonna be a 12 hour session because uh, I'm on a mud mooring. Uh, I can't get back to the mooring at the moment. So yeah, we're, we're here for the night until at least three, four o'clock. Uh, depending on bait situation and how it's fishing, we might even then stay out even longer and fish until um, the, the afternoon high to, to then make our way back in. So yeah, let's, uh, let's see if there's anything on that. So uh, yeah, rig this back up, uh, bait it back up. It's just a simple three hook rig, uh, three down, running ledger style with uh, size two hooks, baited with uh, frozen blacks. Uh, Breeps seem to be loving that at the moment. Uh, not taking anything else apart from the blacks. Squid strips not being touched. Uh, so yeah, we'll stick with the frozen blacks and see how it goes. We catch up in a bit. Oh, just as that light uh, dropped away, Mickey's had a nice little bite. This weed's been a bit of an issue. He's reeling in now. And what have we got? Bass. Oh, nice little billy bass. Yeah, let's get him in. Taking that down. You want to unhook him? What was that on, Mac? Uh, luck. Got a bit of fucking hook out. There you go. Uh, uh, hopefully, gone. that's a good sign of things to come for the night. Uh, light's just dropping off. Looks a lot darker. Sorry, it looks a lot brighter rather on the camera than it actually is. Uh, we are both having to use headlamps now. Tip lights are on, so the only time you'll ever see tip lights on any of my rods is uh, when I'm on the boat. It's just to uh, keep the light down complete as much as possible and then yeah, it's easy to identify which rod's going. So, yeah, catch up in a bit. All right, well, we're gonna have to move. The tide started to turn now, so the um, bow of the boat is basically pointing in the wrong direction. So we're just gonna pull anchor, and get the engine started, get that idling. So yeah, grab the rods in, drop anchor, and then we'll mission off on to the next step. <laughs> Always wear a life jacket. <laughs> Popped out a sand hill bait. That sand hill's gone off. Yeah, I'm not sure what, I'm not sure what's on here. We'll see. Probably a dog knowing my luck or another eel. Yeah, it looks like an eel.
Damn it. Hopefully we don't get plagued by these things all night. Strap eel. All right. What have I done with me T-bar? <laughs> Well, we've just moved back into the harbour, as you can hear. Got a little bit of a fishy on. So, the, the move has paid off. Let's just see what's on the end. Definitely a small hound. Oh, no, it's not. It is a nice bass. Alright, I'm not going to piss about. I want to get this one in the boat. <sighs> whoop whoop. <laughs> Turn the headlamp off. Back on. Yeah. Alright, you spat the hook. <sighs> Don't drop him. That was the fresh blacks. Pompey Harbour Bass. Happy days. Give him away. A big old gob on these guys. Happy with that. He's about two, two and a half, something. Oh, go that way. There you go. So yeah, the move has paid off. Happy days. I think I got my scales here, I'll give him a quick way. And uh, where are the scales? Try and cover that up, there you go. Bang on three pound. So, uh, so uh, he's been uh, bleeding. He's already not doing much, so uh, he ain't gonna make it, so unfortunately, I'm going to have to uh, knock this one on the head and uh, take him home, but he won't be wasted. Whoop. He will be dinner. Great fish. So, uh, bait up. Get it back out there. I've just uh, whoop, put my uh, hoodie on, that's why I don't have my life jacket on. I was literally just putting the hoodie on and the rod screamed off. Not putting up as much of a fight as the other one. Definitely another bass though. Yeah. Good head shake. Oh, he's up on the surface. I have to switch my headlamp over. Yeah, another little, another bath. Oh, 
I'm a decent sized one. A bit smaller than the first one. A bit smaller than the oh, bloody headlamp. A bit smaller than the first one. This one's probably about two and a half, but now the port's with half a bass. Easy fishing. Love it. This one, go back though. So uh, let me grab the camera off there. Billy Bass, going home. So the rig I'm using is just a straightforward, super simple, easy as it gets, running ledger. Uh, so just your standard running lead onto a bead, swivel, and what's that? Two and a half foot line. And then, because um, I'm using single uh, black, live black lug, I've got a little size two chinoo for the top panel hook, and then uh, just your standard 2 0 uh, that bait off. It's your 2 0 on the bottom, so I'll bait that up, show you what it looks like. It's super simple. Uh, no different really than fishing on the beach. Give me black lug. So, yeah, just feed it up the line, or oh, sorry, up the hook rather. Keep going. And then I always leave that last little bit and poke it out just so that the um, bass can't just suck them straight off. And then the little size two, just one, two, three wraps around the line and then just hook it through. And that's it. Got a line over there. Get there. And there you go. About 15 yards off the back of the boat. Let it hit, hit the bottom. There you go on the bottom. Doesn't get any simpler than that. All right, time to get my life jacket back on, get the chest camera back on, and catch up in a bit. <laughs> Not even joking, rod's just gone again. Let's you just put that one back out. You've just seen me put it back out. You see the rod tip over there? They do tend to just like sort of hit it and play with it for a little bit, so I, I want to make sure it's doing that before I go for it. Even now, I think I was too quick. Come on. I can feel him just playing with it.
He's on now. Yeah, he's definitely on. Single black lug. Yeah, he's skirting across the top. Too much, We've got mixed line right here. So, uh, let's get him in, get him unhooked, and release him. Just, just clipped him over there. Oh no, and in the scissors. Yeah, perfectly in the scissors. I'll uh, just pop him straight back, I think. Ow, shit, you bastard. I got spiked. But yeah, nice little schooly. Well, uh, shiny. Turn that down a bit. There you go. Perfect. Popping back. So it's two o'clock in the morning now. Been fishing for seven hours, I think. Yeah, seven hours, so it was pretty poor outside the harbour. That bait was literally out there for two minutes, so I'm going to send that black light back out. Mmm, tasty. Yeah, outside the harbour was pretty poor. It was really weedy. Tip is wrapped right. Really weedy, and we were basically plagued by uh, strap congas and uh, little bream nothing really of any size so we moved oh, what's going on? so yeah so that's why we decided to move back into the harbour fish the last three hours of the flood and then sort of two hours afterwards I don't think we'll stay out till we uh, to the afternoon tide just uh, not really worth it or you never know we might change our minds and go back in but by the looks of things it's going to be quite enjoyable and quite frantic here in the harbour so we'll uh, stick to stick to the harbour and uh, keep on going. Mickey's just uh, hooked into his first one. See it's scooting along the top there. Meg, I thought your other rod was going there now. I think it was just uh, where you're putting your other rod down. So on my other rod, I'm using a, oh, there you go, now you'll be able to see. So on my other rod, I'm just using a single um, hook. I think he's uh, trying to cast these all over the place. So there you go. So only using one hook. But if you're gonna use worm, it tends to just slide off. So just leave, I don't know if you'll be able to pick it up. Oh, there we go, yeah, perfect. Leave a slightly longer tag end. Um, 
by doing that when you slide your hook up your worm on when you get up to your eye boot just push it back down and then you'll feel that tag end pop through I don't know if you'll be able to see it in the dark there now what that's going to do is going to stop the worm from sliding back down because the tag end's holding it up so if you're not comfortable with using panel hooks or don't like using panel hooks but struggling with bait presentation and you reel in and you just got a ball of worm down at the bottom of your hook try that out I'll, I was just uh, making the coffees up and uh, Mickey had a fish Another nice little bass of about two pound. Just wanting the mummy and daddy now. Go on. Catch and release, baby. Whoop whoop. Morning. Well, we fished through the night. Uh, after that flurry of bass, it kind of died. Uh, we had the weed come through and it was just an absolute pain in the ass. So uh, we decided to kind of stay where we were, um, fish through it. Um, Mickey's stormed through and uh, come from behind. He's on five bass to my three. Uh, he did have one outside the harbour, so technically only four. <laughs> but yeah, we're going to go in. We decided not to... Uh, carry on going out we have actually stormed through our bait too so that's it we'll head back in and uh, catch up on the next one see you later